my dear students see this problem here a uh, stone is pushed a stone is dropped from the hemispherical bubble and after certain height it is going to get disconnected with the hemispherical bubble and see the lengthy method given in the books how much lengthy it is going to be how much length it is going to be but i will tell you one shortcut method whenever a block is slipping down when it is disconnected from the hemispherical bubble you can just remember one shortcut that cos theta will be always 2 by 3 cos theta will be always 2 by 3 value you have to remember here for a hemispherical bubble when the block is dropped that means i am telling you one shortcut that you just remember this value directly from the total solution just cos 2 by 3 cos theta is equal to 2 by 3 and the next thing is here from the diagram if you observe cos theta is equal to h by r cos theta h h is nothing but the height from bottom from where the block has been Uh, disconnected from the hemispherical bowel and hypotenuse is going to be the radius of the hemispherical bowel so i can just write cos theta is equal to h by r there are two formulas for cos theta that is cos theta for this type of cases is 2 by 3 and cos theta is h by r according to the diagram given here so make them equal and get the answer in fraction of seconds instead of following all these lengthy methods which will waste a lot of your time by seeing this problem you can say that in mains it is going to eat away one or two minutes definitely even though you are an expert but how can you solve this one so easily in fraction of seconds you can just make them equal that is uh, this is one this is equation number 2 so one is going to be equal to 2 you can just write h by r is equal to 2 by 3 and according to the problem the radius is given as 3 here so h by 3 is equal to 2 by 3 so 3 3 gets cancel h equal to 2 meters did you solve the problem in fraction of seconds without any tension without any mention without any intention you will get the answer thank you very much